Hi guys, so tonight we are going to Cheadle and I am hosting um, a psychic night. It's to raise money for one woman at a time. For those that don't know, I support a charity that helps women and children, young girls, um, get sponsorship for um, to prevent them being subject to early marriage and FGM in Africa. And we also support, support um, women that have been subject to abuse in India. Um, amongst other things, we're running different campaigns and the, the night tonight is a psychic night so obviously there's going to be there doing the psychic, um, picking people out of the audience and if they've got anyone that's come through for them and uh, they'll be talking to them. Obviously it's a Q&A with myself, I've got a few friends from the housewives joining me amongst my other lovely friends and family and um, there's lots of surprises and obviously the lovely Jean, my gorgeous Jean that, that does the charity, that's the founder of the charity um, so hopefully it's going to be a really good night, I'm going to raise lots of money, it's going to be a raffle, it's going to be fun and games, it's going to be entertainment so um, I'll be vlogging the whole thing, I hope you enjoy it. Hi ladies, are you looking forward to tonight? Yes, very much. Yeah, what are you looking forward to most? Everything. Especially meeting you. Meeting you. That wasn't, that wasn't prompted at all, was it? Not at all. Are you okay? I'm fine. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah, stop hiding. This is the amazing lady that owns all these clothes, these beautiful clothes. Gorgeous. <laughs> Here's OBD clothing. My empowerment collection is on sale here tonight. It's me, me, and more of me. <laughs> and lovely Natalie. They created it all. She's amazing. <laughs> People started to arrive. Woo! <laughs> Amazing woman, this woman I love her so much. Oh, she's funny. She's just like, oh! Yeah. Heavy and Jean and then Kate is on the camera. Yeah, we're after we're we're after 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 Hopefully, can make lots of money for this fantastic charity. This woman 
is the mo one of the most incredible w women I've ever met in my life. When I um, met Jean, she did hypnobirthing with me, and uh, when I got back in touch with her, she started telling me about all the fantastic work that she'd done in Africa, and I just, something resonated with me, I just wanted to help, I wanted to help these girls. For those of you who don't know, uh, One Woman at a Time supports women in Africa, that um, young girls puts them on a sponsorship to prevent them from being sold to early marriage and FGM. And we've also done some work with Wes going over to India. Um, he uh, went over there and I spoke to Jean. I said, I'd love to for you to come and let's find somewhere that needs our help. And Jean come, sought out this amazing refuge. So we're now working with them. Um, there's so many other like different fundraisers that we're doing to help these girls and women, and it's just incredible the support we've had. And I'm going to pass you off to Jean now to tell you her story and how it all came about. So, I'm going to give you an idea. Um, I went in 2012 over in as, as an observer to uh, see a charity that works with FGM. And while I was there, a lady called Margaret Lemus um, was in really bad states through complications of pregnancy. Um, I managed to transfer her through the night to a hospital, and unfortunately she died. I realised that, um, although I couldn't, this is how I felt at the time, um, what I did couldn't help her, um, that I needed the two daughters that she got would be sold and cut FGM and sold so that the man could get a new wife. So I went back um, the following three months, mainly to teach the TBA, so that's the tribal um, birth attendants, but I ended up um, bartering with the father for the two girls. And to this day, he thinks I have bought them, which I haven't, I call it sponsorship. But uh, I met uh, three girls in a refuge. They'd run away and they're telling me their story of how they'd gone down to the water, collect water, and somebody said, that old man up there is marrying you tomorrow and you will be cut. And she ran away and she ran 200... Of oh, 14, she ran away and she was found 100 miles later. She'd just gone out. And I wouldn't have had the courage to have done that. And she stayed with me. So for the next five years, I raised money that when these three girls left that refuge, they could either become a nurse or a tailoress or whatever they wanted. And then I was going back last year and I met Leanne. And this is where sometimes fate takes over. She mentioned I was going to Africa and she came. And that is where it's taken over. I would still be here fighting really hard to raise over five years, 2,800. She comes on board and goes, I'll give you a ball, and it's just gone stratospheric from my concern. We've now got 18 girls that we have saved from being cut. And when I say this, what we're offering these girls, it's bigger than winning the lottery. If we all here win the lottery today, we get a bigger car, a better house, more money, right? What they're getting is education training and economic power and without economic power you're always beholden to somebody else it was a culture shock and it was tough he's like you'll be fine we talked to people beforehand we were like you need security you're not going to africa without security you're going to get more books the most streetwise calming amazing person she's helped me through so much stuff and um yeah she's just amazing and yeah anybody wants to put The way you're talking is driving me insane Hello Just last week you called me The way you're talking is driving me insane Hello Hello
this last week you call me The way you're talking is driving me insane Hello This last week you call me The way you're talking is driving me insane Hello Hello